Good day YouTube, my name is Daniel and I wanted to show off some of my favorite Indiana Jones hats. I'll be selling a few of these so I want to make sure I get in a review before I sell them. To begin with I'd like to show you my young Indiana Jones hat. It's made of pure rabbit and I bought it on eBay actually. Um, the felt is pretty poor quality uh, because someone basically just found a hat and stuck in it an adventure built sweatband and a liner and um, the reason why I bought this hat was basically because of the liner was so pretty but um, it's a decent hat I sent it to John Penman to have him reblock it and he put in a, a new sweatband and a new ribbon which is really nice so it's like a pseudo adventure build that's not really a real one but it, it's a nice everyday hat uh, next I want to show you my uh, everyman hat uh, which is a factory hat uh, that John Penman uh, makes and he, they say it's the best factory hat in the world because uh, based upon how it's finished and made um, I think it's really really awesome myself um, it has the perfect uh, trade-off between rigidity and floppiness um, and I think you know Indiana Jones would totally have this hat um, it's 20% uh, beaver and 80% rabbit by the way here we have the Steve Delk adventure built hat. Steve Delk was one of the two makers of the hats in the uh, Crystal Skull movie, Indiana Jones 4, in addition with Mark uh, Kidder, I believe. Um, so this one is pure rabbit. Um, it fits my head perfectly and it's a very awesome shape. This and the next two hats are my favorite hats so far. I could totally sell the Young Indy and the Everyman hat. Um, something in addition to that is the finishing, the pouncing, the softness on this particular hat is not very smooth as uh, Penman or pretty much any of the other hats here. Um, the next one is a really, is my, f it's really close between this Penman and this Northwest hat. This is probably one of my favorite ones. Um, it's pure beaver. It's only $250. The other ones are quite uh, a bit more expensive. It's very soft felt. It was pounced very well. Uh, the only thing is that Mike Miller of Northwest Hats, the hatter that made this, he used a lot of stiffener, so the hat is very rigid. But I can totally get over that. In addition, it's not completely screen accurate. He has his own little uh, bow, which is a what he calls a flying V on the side there. Um, and he also put it back at the regular uh, standard position uh, for a hat. The Raider's bow would be shifted forward just a little bit. I'll show you the inside. Here's the liner, the Northwest Hat Company. I really would recommend it because uh, very few people know about that brand or mic, but awesome guy love the communication next is my favorite hat i'd say is based basically because it's so resilient i've had this hat for three years now uh, i've brought it to many countries um and just basically crushed it and it's still resilient it's the penman brand raiders hat so it's not the adventure built legacy but it's the penman brand um uh, it's got the champagne liner and uh, it's 100% beaver. I can't recommend this hat enough. I feel like Indiana Jones would totally just use this as his hat. Completely flexible. He can smash it up, get it dirty, and it just bounces back. Um, yeah, here's a little bit about felts. Just for clarification, I wanted to mention what I meant pure rabbit or pure beaver. They actually use the uh, hair, different parts of the animal's hair to make uh, felt, which is the material that these hats are made out of and some are, some of them are more weather resistant or more or hold together more compared to some other ones like uh, they say beaver holds up a lot better compared to rabbit in the long run but that's you know you can do your own research and see what's best for you um, I just wanted to mention that uh, thanks this is the young Indiana Jones hat uh, made of rabbit felt. I uh, just wanted to show you some more pictures here. Here we have the everyman hat. You can see it's got a very good raider's turn. And here's the logo. I love the little logo. It's very cute. Too bad I'm going to get rid of this hat. Here's the Steve Delk uh, 
rabbit hat. And here we have the Northwest hats. Fedora. And finally we have the Penman brand Raiders hat. Here's a couple more pictures. Sorry for the quality. They're kind of not colored correctly, but thank you for watching.